Well, hello again, everybody. This is the uh, update part two of the uh, Polar Light Sea View uh, model number 5099 that I've been working on. Uh, as you can tell, I've added quite a few more parts to the assembly itself, uh, namely the uh, basically the Cadillac fins in the back and uh, the good uh, part as far as the left side or the uh, port side of the propulsion unit engine uh, that's all together and assembled uh, on that side uh, I also put the rudder in place as well um, I also went ahead and put the uh, diving planes glued those in place got them nice and level so that's looking pretty sharp uh, as far as uh, working on the uh, other side the starboard side of the uh, submarine um, that I have the missing part on uh, what I end up doing is I see I can turn this around so you can see it here in the light but what I end up doing was actually taking the replica piece which is part number 16 and I actually flipped it upside down and I actually sanded it down and I cut the pins off on the underside uh, and then I took the lower half of the starboard cut that in half so that this part here is one solid uh, round uh, piece to match with the uh, starboard side uh, but since I did that I had to actually modify the rudder for this side and I actually took my Dremel tool and uh, hone down uh, the top and bottom side of the rudder so it slide nicely into the uh, uh, propulsion engine on the uh, the modified propulsion engine on the uh, starboard side so uh, I think it kind of turned out pretty well uh, as close as I can get to it for uh, modifying uh, a missing piece so as you can see there I think it looks pretty good um, as far as what I had left over, uh, I'd still do a little bit more work on it, but I did actually put some uh, uh, sculpt uh, putty uh, in place, and I'm slowly molding it to conform with the, uh, the rest of the propulsion unit. Of course, I'm going to actually hide this uh, with some diorama uh, scenes, so, and of course this side won't be really shown, it'll be the other side, which is the good side. But I just kind of want to give you a, 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 an idea of what I actually accomplished as far as getting it as close as I can to the uh, to the original part. Um, so there you have it. Um, with all that said and done, uh, like I say, pretty much uh, all all the parts are glued in place now. Um, so the next step is to basically uh, paint it. went ahead and uh, this is all acrylic paint that I used and what I first what I ended up doing first was to actually put some uh, uh, liquid uh, blue liquid mask on the observation windows and the conning tower windows uh, even though it's acrylic paint it's water based it's just a habit of mine so I just went ahead and, and uh, brushed on some of the uh, liquid mask on there for comfort protection and uh, for the first time I'm using acrylic paint, I'm using my Pache uh, H airbrush that I just recently bought. That's my second airbrush. And uh, I did like a 50-50 ratio as far as uh, using um, uh, some acrylic paint of my color choice with some windshield wiper fluid. And I decided to go ahead and try this out I got this uh, for my daughter at Michaels it's the uh, I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, basically it's the uh, Liquitex professional slow dry blending medium uh, it does have they say a little bit of some uh, retarder in there and some slow dry kind of mixed into the uh, you know medium itself so uh, like I said, there's not really a ratio you can do. It's trial and error. Uh, the first time that I mixed everything together and thought it was to the consistency of the 2% milk, um, 
put it in my Pache airbrush and the first uh, round uh, was more of a, a thin splattering all over the uh, hull of the ship so I had to kind of go back to the drawing board and uh, try mixing up a little thicker uh, solution so that uh, the paint would flow evenly uh, by the way the color of choice for the upper part of the hull was uh, the porcelain blue from folk art and I did some slate gray from Americana I mixed those two together to give a kind of bluish gray uh, tint to it uh, another thing that I did when I mixed the two parts together for the acrylic paint is I actually tried this out it's the Liquitex professional iridescent medium so I add a couple of drops of that with the mixture of the uh, two colors uh, as well as the windshield uh, fluid uh, kind of mixed it all together got a nice consistency and uh, put it in my airbrush and went ahead and sprayed down the uh, hull of the sea view um, it's kind of hard to tell by you know from the camera point of view but the iridescent medium you can actually kind of see it kind of gives a metallic uh, look to it uh, using just mixing it with your standard acrylic paint uh, so I think it came out really nice uh, I haven't clear coated this yet um, but uh, I did apply several uh, light layers of uh, paint on it uh, to bring it to uh, what you see right now um, after the initial spraying of the of the hull I went ahead and uh, took care of the limber holes um, see if we can kind of bring this around a little bit but uh, what I did was I actually took a uh, sharp toothpick and I actually used uh, some craft smart uh, black for my limber holes and I basically just uh, uh, put it on my palette and mixed it with a little bit of the uh, slow dry blending medium mixed that together and then I kind of just dipped uh, the end of my toothpick and just patiently and carefully went to each limber hole and just dabbed it uh, all the way down the line uh, and it worked out quite well so it stayed with inside the uh, limber holes and uh, it's looking pretty good so uh, that's what I did uh, as far as that's concerned I went ahead then and uh, painted the uh, periscope uh, instruments and then metallic silver uh, another acrylic color uh, this is what I used the metallic uh, silver sterling from folk art so that's what I use for my periscope instruments uh, I went ahead and uh, hand painted the uh, the uh, top part of the conning tower here uh, white just to kind of give it that offset color and uh, as far as the diorama I actually used uh, five different colors for that uh, it did originally come in a black mold but uh, basically what I did was I used uh, some thicket and some avocado from Apple Barrel and then I went with some Craft Smart Brown and then we went with the Craft Smart Black and uh, with a little bit of some uh, Cobalt Blue uh, to set the uh, tone of the uh, diorama uh, since they're you know diving deep in the water there and uh, rocky formations so those are the five colors I used uh, to accomplish uh, what you see right there and uh, I think that turned out quite well I did uh, clear coat this twice and uh, as well as the underside uh, I basically painted that um, basically apple barrel color country gray because uh, you know uh, basically it's kind of like a, a, the colors of a shark you know it's the under, underbelly is a little bit lighter than the uh, the upper part of the of a shark so uh, that being the sea view <clears throat> I went with like I said the metallic kind of bluish gray on top and then a country lighter gray 
uh, for the uh, bottom of the hole. So just to kind of give a little uh, de uh, deviation in color. So uh, this is kind of like where we're standing at right now. Um, uh, like I said, I might be adding a few more uh, features to this. Uh, if you notice on the back part of the tail fins, it's pretty well flat. Um, and now I'm on Mobius uh, uh, C-View, the three foot uh, one that I put together that actually has some tail lights on the ends. As you can see here, it's all flat right here. So I think I have some uh, clear parts that I could either uh, attach to the end of the tail lights and so it's in scale or maybe do a you know canopy glue or, or some sort of crystal clear or something to uh, form like a clear type of uh, light on the back end or give the illusion that there's a light there um, but uh, it's pretty well almost complete here and uh, uh, next update uh, will probably end up uh, uh, applying the diorama around it and uh, probably do a uh, you know finale on it so uh, I just want to kind of give you a quick little update here like I said uh, I've been busy at work so uh, um, that kind of took precedent so but I just want to give you a quick little update of this and uh, let you know that uh, it's almost complete so without further ado uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subbing and we'll catch you in uh, the finale until then so long bye